Hello students, today we will learn how to create a PowerPoint presentation. So in order to create a PowerPoint presentation, what you have to do is you have to open a PowerPoint and then just now I have opened it. So we will go to the file option. So from file you will create a new one. So from that you can choose a blank one to create a new one like this you can do so. So what points we are going to cover in this is how to create an edit presentation under which we will see once you create a presentation how you will insert the table, picture, clip art, shape, smart art, chart, header, footer, audio, video, equation and symbols. So let's see these options quickly. So as you can see here, this is nothing but the home layout. So if I want to add a new slide, then simply I'll click on a new slide. And these are the options available. That is whether I want a slide with a title and slide, whether I want a title and content slide, a section header, a two content, a comparison, title only blank, content with caption and picture with option, picture with caption. So let's see that this is the slide which has a title click to add subtitle this is how I can do that and if I want to delete that then simply I can delete that slide so this is how I can add a new slide from here what I can do I can choose the layout from the layout option I can change the layout so this is nothing but the home section now let's come to the insert option so in insert option, there are n numbers of options. First we will see table. So if I want to insert a table, I'll simply click on this table option. And whichever format I want to insert, I can select it. Suppose if I want to draw a table, then also I can do that. Simply I have to draw it like this. I can do that. So this is nothing but the table option is there. If I want to delete, then I can simply delete it. I'll say delete the row. So this is how. Next it's picture. So if you want to insert a picture, simply click on the picture option and whichever picture you want to upload, suppose I want to insert it from the saved pictures, then I can do that. If I want to upload from the screenshot, then simply I can choose it and I can say insert. So this is how I can insert. What is the next thing? Clip art. If you want to insert any kind of clip art, then you can do so from this option. So here you just search for it. As you can see here, available clip arts are there. So if I want to insert it, then I can do so. I can rotate it anywhere. Now I don't want that, then simply I can delete it also. What is the next option? Screenshot. If I want to insert a screenshot, I can do so. If I want to insert shapes inside my PPT, then from this I can do so. So as you can see here, there are n numbers of options available. Lines, rectangle, basic shapes, block arrows, equation shapes, flowcharts, stars and banners, callouts, action buttons. Anything which I want to include in my PPT, I can do so. Let's take one arrow. So this is how I can insert it. Whichever shape we want, we can insert it. After that, it's smart art. So these are the options we have under the smart art graphic. Least, process, cycle. If I want to show the hierarchy, if I want to show the relationship, then these are the options available. Matrix, pyramid and picture. So this is how I can check that. Whichever option I want, I can apply it. Smart art and chart. Chart if I want, then I'll go to the chart option. Again, there are n numbers of option. Column, line, pie, bar, area, XY scatter, stock, surface, donut, bubble, radar. 
whichever chart I want, I can insert it. Then the next is if I want a text box, simply I can insert it. This is how I have selected. Now I don't want it, I'll just delete it. Header and footer. The way we used to insert a header footer inside the word, in the same way I can insert it here also. From this option you can do it. On which slide number if you want, then you just select that slide number and in footer you will mention it. If I want to apply it to the particular slide, then I can select it. And if I want to apply it to the all, then I'll select this option, apply to all. If I want to insert an audio file, then I'll go to this option. And now there are three options, audio from file, clip art audio or record audio. These three options are available in order to upload the audio. Then video. Again, if I want to add the video file, then I can do so. Video from file. Now suppose I have any video file here. So I'll select this and I'll insert it. Now it is inserting. So simply I'll cancel now. So that is just the demonstration purpose. So I can insert video and audio also. An equation that is if you are doing any mathematical related PPT and if you want to insert any ins uh, equation then you can do so. So here are the available options. See which kinds of equation? Area of circle, binomial theorem, expansion of sum, Fourier series, Pythagoras. So I can select whichever I want. So as you can see here, that is selected. So this is how we can insert the equations. Now symbols. There are symbols also. So whichever symbol I want, I can take. So these are the available symbols. N numbers of symbols are there. Whichever you need, you can upload. So that is nothing but the first part. Now let's see the next part. That is nothing but design. Once you have inserted the required thing, how will you design your presentation? That is the page setup, slide orientation, colors, fonts, background styles, hide background graphics. So let's see that. So page setup. That is in design tab, I'll go. In page setup, I can choose whether I want a portrait representation of my slide or a landscape one. And slide size, I can choose. Now, let's select the first option. On screen, 4 is to 3. I'll say OK. It will get applied to my PPT. Sixteen is two nights, whichever. So it is getting changed. Whichever setup we want, we can do that. Then slide orientation. If I want a portrait one, we can check that. If I want a landscape one, I can do so. After that slide orientation, let's see the fonts. Colors, fonts. So color, whichever color I want, I can choose. As you can see here, I have choose. Then font, whichever font I need. Calibri, then I can choose Calibri. Adjacency, then the font will get changed accordingly. Effects if I want, again I can take those effects. And the main thing, orientation, whichever format I want. See, these are the available themes. These are the built-in one. If you want the new one then I, you can browse it and you can use it. So whichever theme you need you can choose it from the built-in themes. If you want none then select none. So that is how you can do that. Background style. So under background style there are n numbers of options. Which background style you need. Then if I want to hide the background graphic then I can choose that. Suppose I'll take this and I'll say hide background. So you can see that. And I'll say hide background graphic. I'll unhide and I'll 
height. So this is the difference. So this is nothing but the design pan of PowerPoint presentation. Let's see the next part, transitions. So under the transition tab, there are n numbers of transitions I can use. That is, if I want a cut pattern, so you can see the effect. Fed, push, wipe, split, reveal, random bars. So these are the options available using which I can do the transition. Then sound, if I want to include the sound, then I can do so. Whichever sound I want, I can take that. And I want to if I want to customize the duration also, then I can do so. And here I can choose whether I want to apply it to all or for a trip or a particular slide. That is nothing but the transition. So next is animation pane. So under the animation pane, again, which kinds of animation I want? Fade, fly in, float in, split, wipe, shape, fill, whichever I want. So these are the available options. Whichever option you like, you can choose. So this is nothing but the animation pane. Under the effect option, you can customize the direction, in, out, whichever. N numbers, are, N numbers of options are there. You can set the trigger also on click off on. So this is nothing but the animation option. And the next is slide show. That is when I want to do the slide show, whether I want it from the beginning or from current slide. So FY is the shortcut in order to do the slide show. So from beginning I can choose that and say OK. So this is nothing but the slide show. And in order to exit from the slideshow view, I'll press ESC key. Okay. From current so first from current slide, I need to do that. Then also I can do that. Broadcast slideshow. If I want to broad broadcast my slideshow to the remote viewers who can watch it in a web browser, then I can do that with the help of this option. And the next is if I want to hide any slides, then I'll just simply hide that slide. So you can see the cross mark over here. That is nothing but that slide is hided. I'll uh, unhide it. So that is unhided now. So hide slide is done. Then record. If I want to record, then also I can record my slideshow. So start recording from the beginning. It will ask me whether I want slide and animation timing, narration and laser pointing. Then I can say start recording. So at the top, you can see that it is getting recorded at the top. If I want to stop it, then I'll just pause it. And I can stop it. Resume. No, I don't want to resume. So this is how you can stop. Now what is the re remaining part? Use timing. If you want to use the timing also, then you can do so. That is while doing a PowerPoint presentation before that, if you want to rehearse the timing, that how much time you need to rehearse, then that is within the, these fractions of seconds, uh, fractions of minutes I need to practice, then you can use this rehearse timing and you can practice while talking before presenting your PowerPoint presentation. Do you want to keep the new slide timing? Now, right now, I'll say because I don't want to save it. Then in media control, that is if I want to show the media control, see what is this, what does it say? When you move the pointer, over audio and video clip during the slideshow. That is, it will help me to control my media. This is the option. And resolution. What kind of resolution I want? These are the available resolutions available. I can choose whichever I want. Accordingly, my resolution will get changed. So these are the few options available which I can use 
while making my PowerPoint presentation, which helped me to build a good PowerPoint presentation. That's it. Thank you.